in reversing course on Cuba, the Trump administration is preparing to roll back the Obama administration's effort to open Cuba to U.S. tourism and trade. The policy change expected to be a big win for Cuban-American Senator Marco Rubio of Florida, who's been leading the push for a more restrictive policy with the island nation and also tutoring Trump on the issue. The president will reportedly announce the changes in Miami later this week. Joining me right now is the former Speaker of the House, Fox News contributor Newt Gingrich, and he is the author of the new book, Understanding Trump. Speaker, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining good us. Good to see you, and I should point out I was Speaker when the Helms-Burton Act was passed. So I agree entirely with Secretary Tillerson. This is the right general direction. Rubio probably understands the pressure we need to bring on the Castro dictatorship as well as anybody in the country, and I'm glad to see the president following that lead. And, and Marco Rubio is arguing that, you know, President Obama just went too far. Well, he didn't get anything for it. He didn't yeah. get any prisoners released. He didn't get any change in policies. He didn't get any real openings. I mean, I am for finding a way to normalize relations, but that means Cuba has to be willing to normalize back towards being a, more, a freer country. It's incredible to me, though, that the president, I'm talking President Obama, another deal here where the U.S. doesn't get anything in return. I mean, it, this is like a deja vu. It keeps happening. Well, look, I, th I think if you came out of a left-wing background like Obama did, you think the U.S. is so bad that it would be inappropriate for it to get anything. And so you actually want to give things away out of guilt. Uh, and uh, remember, on the left, people wear Che Guevara T-shirts and have no idea how many people he killed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, and so you agree this is a smart move. Very smart. Pre President Trump is also going to be filling a campaign promise with this because he talked about this on the campaign. Yep. What, what's the impact to business? I mean, what about you know the Jet Blues of the world who started flights there and 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 started hard hard to do business with Cuba? Well, I think they're going to have to modulate their investment plans based on exactly what the changes are. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, you know, this is a very pro-business, very pro-jobs administration, and I, I doubt if they're going to cut everything off totally. But I do think they're sending a signal here, as they are in so many other areas, that we're back to putting America first and we're back to being tough rather than being uh, automatically acquiescing uh, with, with bad decisions.